to another episode of Vent Talk. I'm Brother Vince. I'm Army Veteran. Today, we'll be talking about the Veterans Educational Assistance Program. But before we get into that, please like, share, subscribe, and bell. You can find more content from Vet Talk on YouTube, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Reddit for more content. And to all veterans who would love to share your stories or resource for veterans and non-veterans who would love to share your resource for veterans, please feel free to contact me ASAP so we can schedule the meeting. So my question to you today is, are you a veteran who entered service between January 1st, 1977 and June 30th, 1985? For all branches other than the Air Force? Or did you serve in the Air Force between December 1st, 1980 and September 30th, 1981 in certain specialties and locations? If so, you may be eligible for benefits through the Veteran Educational Assistance Program. Veteran Educational Assistance Program is a government match program for educational assistance. So with the government matching $2 for every dollar you put into your Veteran Educational Assistance Program account before April 1st, 1987. To be eligible for the Veteran Assistance Educational Program benefit, you must have also finished your first period of service and not receive a dishonorable discharge. If you're currently on active duty, you must have at least three months of contributions available for use with the VEAP benefits. For those who meet the eligibility requirements for the Veterans Educational Assistance Program benefits can be provided money for tuition to continue your education. To apply for these benefits, start by making sure you select the program that is approved by the VA. If you have questions or need help understanding the requirements, call the Educational Call Center at 888-442-4551. Again, that is 888-442-4551. Or visit your nearest VA regional office. If you haven't started training yet, submit an application for VA education benefits using VA Form 22-1990 online or by mail or in person or with the help of a training professional if you're on active duty right now. Your education service officer will need to approve your enrollment and your commanding officer will need to verify your service. If you're not on active duty, you need to send a copy of member number four of your DD-214 certification or release or discharge from active duty. If you already started training, take your VA form 22-1-1990 application and the member copy number four of your DD-214 to your school or employee. Ask them to complete the VA form 22-1999 enrollment certification and send all the forms to the VA. Finally, ask your school or training office to verify your enrollment with the VA. The veteran educational benefits can be a valuable resource for veterans looking to continue their education. If you meet the eligibility requirements, don't hesitate to take advantage of this program. So as you can see on my screen, this is the actual program. You can see all of the important information that you may want to know more in depth about. And I listed it and have it all here so that you can actually, you know, go to this website, which as always, I'll place in the description box for you so that you can go and, you know, get the proper information that you need so that you can apply and enroll into these benefits. And the reason why I'm putting this benefits up here is because I want to ensure that you take advantage of all of your entitlements. Because the VA has blessed us with so much opportunities to advance ourselves, educate ourselves, and do better as veterans. So don't sit down, not take advantage of this opportunity, and miss out on the opportunity to better yourself, to put more, 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 to put more money in your pocket, and do something with your life while you're sitting there and doing nothing. So as always, this has been another episode with your boy, Brother Vince from Vet Talk. My good people, Vet Talk out.